this will be a million dollar business within five years. I was, I mean, the furthest I could see was, was six figures, like before, really before the mastermind. I was able to finally step into, wow, I now see the value that I bring to the table in a whole new way. And I felt so compelled from a place of service that if I don't work with the people that are out there in my, in my niche and in my audience, like they will not be as well off or they will be worse off for not working with me. And when I shifted and came from that place, everything I did, copy I wrote, workshops I ran, just conversations I had, even with friends and family, everything shifted. And that's when the clients actually started coming to me. And that's, that's kind of been, for me, that's the biggest shift, really going to that place of I'm compelled because I, I can see so clearly the value that I bring and I know exactly how to help my ideal client. Instead of feeling like I was climbing uphill, I felt like I was ride, like surfing, like riding a wave of momentum. Before we go off, I want to come back because like there's something that you're doing. There's like something that you're thinking that is like, it's wearing the different costume of like discount this person because he's young, discount this person because of something else, right? Like, but underneath it, it's like a thought that's wearing different costumes. What is it? Uh, is it possibly like that I don't feel confident on the sales call or on, on the consult? And so if I come up with excuses beforehand, then I kind of am letting myself go and I'm not holding myself accountable for showing up fully on the sales call. Is that a guess or do you know that on the fibers of your being? Uh, yeah, I know that that's the thing. Yeah. I'm had always been kind of a people pleaser. That was something that I did. I would say nice things to people, get them to like me. I was rewarded for that in my corporate environment. And so when I realized, wow, what I'm currently doing is not serving the other person. And it's look at that. It's also not serving me and my business and allowing me to help them further. And so once I realized that I was like, I turned my focus away from me and how I felt of being uncomfortable. Am I being pushy? to saying, no, like I'm going to do what's in the other person's best interest. Like I'm willing to feel a little bit uncomfortable to stand for this person's benefit. I was like, there was a wall, like I wasn't seeing that possibility. And once I started having 10 K months and not only that, but I also bring in like ideal clients who I absolutely love working with. It hit me one, wow, this is, it's happening. It's working. This is really cool. I'm really enjoying this and I love it. But then it also started getting my wheels spinning about, okay, well, what would version two, version three or iteration two, iteration three look like as I grow and scale and be able to serve more people. And very quickly, I was able to realize, like, and I'm sure I'm even capping what's possible now, but I'm like half a million in three years and a million dollars within the next five years, like is done.